Thank you so much again, Alex, for taking the time uh, to do this um, AMA. So first, let me introduce myself. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. My name is Agnes and I am the Business Development Manager from the Elevation team for Asia Pacific region. We have a special guest here with us, uh, Alex from Built It Merchants. To start things off, Alex, could you please introduce yourself and what you do for uh, for Build It Merchants? Yeah, like um, our vision of the future of what uh, a gaming platform should be or could be, um, and trying to say interconnect, um, decentralize um, play with um, developers, and as well like supporting both like gamer and uh, communities that that want to to build uh, the future of uh, Web three. To create a platform where like um, people just not only come to just like play, but as well like to develop um, their personal ideas. That's why we have as well like some incubation sites, for example. What we're very trying to, what we're trying to do, um, and what we thrive to do, I'd say, is just uh, to make like let's say the gaming experience on blockchain more easy for everybody. You don't really need to connect your wallet. Uh, you can just simply have like a centralized exchange experience, like the same thing, you know? Uh, in, in our case, it's going to be like the choice. You can either like choose like centralized way to, to, to play or you can just like choose a decentralized way to play. You can build your own game with our tools. You can just like connect to developers in order to build a game that you always wanted to build. Uh, the idea is just to interconnect every single uh, part of like... Um, let's say every single piece that is necessary in order to build a game. Founding, developers, community, gamer. Okay, so if I get it correctly, you would be also offering the tools um, that exactly, developers exactly. can be used. Yes. Oh, wow, that's that's interesting. And for, for the gamer side, what valuable opportunities does Build It Merchants open up? What we bring them to 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 gamers like more than um, than uh, other platforms on the market at the moment, including like centralized platform, I would say. Um, there is like a lot of um, advantage using, let's say, for example, right now, um, build merchant over like using other uh, platform in the market. These uh, advantages they are like quite simple. Is like you have access right now to different platform for web 2 and web 3 that gives you the advantage of like buying games for example in the market um when you buy games on build merchant uh you own the game via nfts which means that you can't really lose the right uh, of using the game even if the platform goes under it will always belong to you uh, unlike uh, let's say current web 2 version of games and uh, unlike Web3 version of like gaming platforms that um, more or less like focus on their own IPs, what we're trying to bring at the moment is like bring external IPs to build merchants in order to reward like gaming uh, experience both on Web3 and Web2 game, uh, which means that you'll be able to play your like any game that you like and still be rewarded for that. Uh, of course, like it's not going to be like $700 per month but you will still be rewarded while having fun. So what we bring is like a fun experience where like you don't choose the game based on the profit that you're going to make, but you're going to make profit by playing the game that you like. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for, for sharing uh, your answer. And what attracted you to explore Elastos for, for Billet Merchants? What pushed us to actually use it, uh, Elastos is because first we, we think that um, the solution that uh, Elastos um, proposed is basically an infrastructure that is quite robust and uh, with like very good like say, security features, right? Uh, and, uh, and a user centric uh, solutions. Um, from what we saw when we just like went through every blockchain or potential blockchain that we had is like we thought that um, at the moment there is a great potential in uh, collaboration and growth for the new project, and we also want to to focus, you know, on the privacy aspects uh, uh, of the chain that would just like bring a little bit, like I say, better features for our users. 
Yeah, on top of that, uh, um, like we, we're planning to use as well as tools like for our gaming profile. Uh, the gamer profile basically is just like it's just an ID card, right? An on chain ID card that just like register uh, who is who and and the person basically. The, the idea for us is like integrating like um, the Astos chain uh, for, for, for this is just that we can plug directly the, the Astos uh, identity chain to it. And uh, we integrate as well, like we can integrate as well the credibility score from um, from Creda into it. And why do we want to do that? It's like quite simple. It's just because we're going to have like some, some NFT peer-to-peer -peer lending, right, as well. Uh, as other features that um, that um, increase that incorporate like both um, lending, borrowing, and, and other transaction between people. So having like a, a way to to verify basically like the identity of users, just like the credibility score of them, would just be a very big like uh, let's say advantage for for users to to lend and borrow their NFT a bit more easily. When will the gamer's profile be available? I have the gamer profile in roughly like a month. Um, I think if everything is like going well, probably in beta first, and, and then uh, it will be like four days, probably two months later. This is one of being like, uh, like we are just like putting all the devs, uh, all the development, uh, like say capability on it. It's taking us a lot of time, but we will eventually just manage to, to, to get that out probably around in a month. Okay, so within the quarter? Is that right? Yes. Yes. Exciting. Um, we're very excited again to to see uh, how that would look like. So yeah. So what does gaming mean to you? Um, and considering the maturity of the traditional gaming, how can Web three games develop and developments be improved? Well, you know, like the problem of like traditional game versus like blockchain games, like it's a little bit like David versus Goliath, right? Uh, except that uh, the winner is always Goliath in that case. Um, I would say like the, the the real problem at the moment with like um, blockchain games is like they are all trying to reinvent the the, the wheel, right? Uh, they think that um, they come up with a good with a solution and everybody is basically a genius. Um, it's it's really complicated to to just like build a game from scratch uh, with a team of people who are not very much like equipped for building a game, I'd say, or just never did that um, before, and uh, raising millions, and uh, eventually just like either never launching the game or just um, bringing an experience that is very subpar to the, the web three, the, the web two gaming, um, traditional games, I'll say. The only way that I, I think like games can move forwards and, and mainly uh, what we want to do in game as well, is just, uh, it's just like focusing on what's working in web two, you know, and just trying to, to plug solutions um, that exist in web three that would just enhance the experience. Um, I think like a lot of games just simply think they can just like, like do a 180 you know on like uh, the games you can just like simply flip web2 gaming and just like uh, bring in the past basically just destroy it uh, just because the reward player or like any any other things like this but it's not really the way that um that the future is uh, will move right? the way that it will move is probably by simply taking what's working in, in web2 plugging the the, the right uh, instruments that exist in web in Web3 and uh, creating like a, a mixed experience rather than a full Web3 experience, I would say. I, I agree. Um, and since they, we, we all know that since day one, that is that has always been the challenge for, for Game Prime Project. You know, it's it's been challenging to, to attract traditional gamers. Uh, the first wave of blockchain games I think because the first wave of blockchain games focuses too much on the earn side and not enough on the gameplay. But uh, I also noticed that these days GameFi uh, is shifting. So as, as the industry matures, I can see more quality and enga engaging games in this sector. And it's very exciting. I, I think it's also because of, you know, platforms like 
build it merchants who is really advocating for users to have more immersive and engaging experience in fact the industry is already starting to to change from play to earn to play and earn right of course mm -hmm. so um what can our communities uh what can our elastus community expect to see first from uh from the partnership between billet merchants and elastus okay so like um for now like um what we're just wanting to do is like mainly like um leverage the the did system right for more like seamless game launching um aft landing of course that's what's coming uh a little bit later down the road uh we can't really just like, like push everything at the same time but that will be like uh, a big use of like the, the elasto stack on this uh for sure and uh yeah like um the development of the of the social credit score system it's going to be a, a very very big push on this um what we want as well is just like to to enhance of course like the the, the platform security uh a lot of like uh, platform you know want to rush things and, and just fall into that trap um we try to avoid this part for sure and um yeah like like everything should be like, like integrated to the platform probably like um i think in, maybe if it's not in in this quarter it will be in the next quarter uh we're very hard working on this uh we'll have like of course like uh, nft drops because you know we everybody loves nft drops anyways uh and um on top of that um we'll have like some some game release uh we have like a, a lot of new games coming uh we have like actually like secure like some um, ip for like existing traditional web 2 games that will just like simply bring into web 3 right uh we'll bring some version of it into web 3 at least and um yeah that's um, pretty much it i think uh that's very exciting and yeah about the nft drop that you mentioned um it's this is your genesis nft right and what would be the utility so yeah, like the Genesis NFT that we're like uh, launching, well, well, like those NFT will have a lot of uh, of utility um, from the get go because the, the idea that uh, that we have is like you know we don't want to have an NFT for having an NFT. Um, we we want to just like really bring those NFT with like um, let's say VIP or like privileged feature uh, for the people who just like get into them. So we have like. Um, uh, some platform uh, beta access uh, you're going to have access to to games uh, directly when they're on beta uh, the games that we both incubate and the game that we actually develop uh, in-house right because we were developing in-house game as well we will have like uh, additional nft drop and nft boost if you want to play to two games and you don't own the nft you know like there is like some 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 barrier to entry in the in every games uh, that are like nft games so for example when you want to play like say sandbox or, or axes you always need to to pay some fees in order to, to be able to, to enter whatever it is right it's like in terms of lands or in terms of like buying your own axes you, you always have like enough one cost and basically what we do in, uh, in game is like we just negate this upfront cost simply because we can either uh, lend you the nft for playing that you can refund with like um like simply the, the play time that you're going to have and uh or, or what we do is simply just like uh, giving boost um, nft boost to, to players who owns our genesis nfts so they can simply play without uh, bearing the upfront cost you know there's like subscription um like a lot of things are coming and and we're just like building as we, we are building very big uh can't reveal everything at the, at the moment but uh, you can be sure that uh, compared to what is on the market uh, at the moment in terms of like uh, in terms of like uh, benefit for nfts we'll probably be on the right on the top i think okay great answer alex uh thank you so much um we thank you so much for your time today i really appreciate uh and enjoyed hearing your insight so for of those course. who want to um know more about billet merchants uh feel free to follow them on discord and also twitter i mean thank you very very much for the for the opportunity to to explain what we're doing here
Sure. And we're very happy to have you guys in our ecosystem. Likewise. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.